client I'm working with has kind of a unique scenario. He's riding his bike across the country and he wants to have a daily stats and like an overall stats log. But he's going to be posting from an iPad and even if he weren't, he probably wouldn't want to style this stuff in a two column format with a shading and so forth. Uh, and a lot of times if you have clients asking asking them to put div tags or classes and or, or span tags, whatever kind of styling around content usually is just too much. It, it, they'll probably mess it up or just they don't want to go through the hassle. So here's one way that you can get around this and it's through using custom fields. So here's what I did. This, this is actually auto kind of generated. Um, First of all, install the custom field template plugin. It will give you the settings option here, custom field template. And then in this template content section, you can define the fields that you want to appear. So for example, day number, city and state, these are defined here. And these are the parameters that uh, determine how this field displays in the interface. I'll explain that in a minute. But this right here is the actual field. So now, when the client writes a post, he comes in and he will see a section appear below the post editor that's called, that's like a new custom field section. So this, this section appears here because of this plugin. Then I configured each of these different um, fields. So now all the client has to do is he writes his post, uh, the daily log and so forth, and then enters these stats. And then when he hits publish, voila, it appears in this nice format. Now there's two more steps to actually implement this. Um, you can pull, whenever you have a custom field defined here, you can actually pull that information out. Um, and you have to do two things. First, let's go into editor here. You have to add a, a certain code snippet in your functions file. So if I go down here to theme functions, you can see that I have added this little snippet right here and I'll put these in the screencast show notes. So I added this. Now um, in the single post template, this is what appears when a person is viewing a single post like this. They're on the actual homepage of the post, not the homepage of the site. And uh, here I added some, um, some more stuff and this may look kind of like gobbledygook, but let me try to uh, explain it. So right here where it says PHP get custom field, this is basically pulling that information out of that custom custom field that's called day number. And this one is pulling the information out of the, out of the custom field that's called city and state and so forth. And pretty much uh, that's how custom fields works. Uh, it's really quite, quite simple once you, once you get this um, set up. Now I had to do one more thing too, because the, the client had some posts that he wanted to have these custom fields appear and some that he probably didn't. So uh, I added one more thing called a conditional tag where it says, if it's in category three, then do this stuff. And if not, then don't. So that now um, when, when, uh, the client adds a new post and he selects category three, which by the way is uh, also another kind of tip, <laughs> trying to figure out the category names, but it's day journal, that's category three, then, then that uh, ride stats section will appear. So this, is, this can be handy for a number of things, but primarily it's handy when you want to put sophisticated styling, and this really isn't sophisticated, but if you want to put sophisticated styling and you don't want to put the burden on the client to put all kinds of div tags around that styling, just add the custom key, key fields here, custom fields, name them whatever, and then go to your template and pull the, pull the data out of those custom fields to be inserted into the post. And of course, uh, let me go back uh, here. You can see that I have, I have wrapped um, these get custom fields tags within some styling. And of course, uh, in, in the style sheet, there's some styles that define what this kind of um, content should look like when it has the styles. But can you imagine having the client or asking the client to go and put this before every post? Surely he or she is going to forget the div tag and everything won't look right. I'm Tom at I'd rather be writing.com.